So that was about the, the types of index and let us quickly summarize what we have studied in this entire module. We talked about the B-tree index and creating a B-tree index will be beneficial when your column has too many distinct values. You can create a bitmap index when your column has less number of distinct values. Then we talked about the function based index. In this type of index, if you are appending a function on top of an indexed column, then that index will not be applicable. You have to create a separate function based index. We also talked about the index organized tables, which are nothing but the table and the index is stored in the same B3 structure. It helps to retrieve data much faster. But yes, it comes with its downside. We also talked about the cluster index, which is nothing but an index created on a column which is shared across multiple tables. We also talked about the composite index, which is nothing but creating an index on two or more than two columns, which helps to retrieve less number of rows and provides faster access to data. So that was all about the index and the types of indexes. And we'll talk about the RBO versus CBO in the next module.